In this video, I'll show you how to add Bevel and Emboss to text using the Layer FX Studio in Affinity Photo on the iPad. I'm currently in a mini series where I'm looking at the effects inside the Layer FX Studio. Today is all about Bevel and Emboss, so let's get into it. As always, we're just going to jump into Affinity Photo and we will go into our Sonic project, which is really coming along now. There's not too much left to do. Bit of work with the text, bit of work in the banner, and then that's us. So for today's video, we're just gonna go into the Layer Studio. We're gonna click on the Sonic Layer and click into the Layer Effects Studio. Again, as always, when you're on the Layer, when the Layer selects it, we can go into Layer Effects Studio this way or just by hitting the FX icon on the layer, you can get into it that way. So today we're gonna to be looking at bevel and emboss. If I click bevel and emboss straight away, something happens. Just for the sake of explaining about bevel and emboss, I'm actually gonna take off the gradient and take the outer shadow and then bring this up just so we can really study the bevel and emboss in more detail. So that's it off. That's it on, and by standard, that's the way it looks, and, and straight away, it doesn't look too bad. Down here, the contextual toolbar appears. Under type, we can have inner bevel and emboss, outer, which is quite nice. That kind of makes it look as if the text is sitting up slightly. slightly. We can emboss it, which means it's bevel and emboss and the outer, so it's, it's on the text and around the outside of the text. Pillow's quite nice also. It kind of makes it look as if the, the text is sunken in. So if I come back a wee bit, it's maybe easier to see again. It just looks as if the text is, is sunken in a wee bit with bevel and boss. That's, that's quite nice. And then back to inner. So that's the few options we have. Inner, outer, emboss, and pillow. All quite nice. Radius up next. As always, we can move our finger left and right with the emboss little is more so to speak anything past 40 anything past 30 really doesn't doesn't look great so you're you're just talking quite slightly there's 8.5 doesn't look too bad around 15 there's 10 so not only can you go left and right you can click into it and put in we'll put in 15 and i think that's quite nice next up here by default link radius and depth is set to connect each other so if i just hit that off now depth, you can access it, and just by moving it across, you can see what that does. It really makes it look as if it's just just got more depth depth to it, really. It does what it says. That's far too much for me. Two fingers will undo that. If we lock it again, that's grand. Soften, just softens the emboss. Going up to four, five, six, seven, eight. That's a wee, that's not too bad, but it's a wee bit too much to me. It's... Default at zero, I'm quite happy with. Next up, we've got the azimuth, which is a really odd word. I didn't even know how to pronounce it before doing these tutorials. I had to look up, I had to look up Google there just to see how to pronounce it, and it's pronounced azimuth. And what is azimuth? Well, it's better to show rather than explain. Really, it's controlling the direction of the light and the shadow. So it's, it's nearly as if the sun at the minute is coming from this direction and if we move it all the way around, it looks as if the, the sun or light source is coming in from this direction. So that's quite nice depending on whereabouts uh, you want it to go. So that's the azimuth. Two fingers will just put it back to where it started from. The elevation's next and really that's just applying the strength of the emboss, it's, it's, it's making it more defined, it's making it stronger, that's far too much for me, two fingers to undo, 45, let's go the other way and let's soften it up, and the more you soften it, the more it nearly gives it this real plasticky feel, it's just making the the emboss, the, the shadows emboss much lighter, and bringing up the the lightness of it, and that's that's quite nice, I quite like that, and again, back to default, there's so, so many options, so many opportunities to change the emboss. There's, there's so many options, uh, different ways of doing things. Again, I just clicked the wee white arrow and that gives us more options. If we click into the profile, we can change the curves and you can really do it so it's, it's more of a chiseled look. If we take out the, ex the extreme and it's actually getting a wee bit pixelated, 
or if we go down to the bottom, it's nearly giving it another kind of stroke, especially in the white. You can see it's, it's kind of raising it up and that's a bit too much. I'll just do two fingers to undo or I'll, I'll just hit that to undo it. And that just enables, that just enables this stroke. If we go back to it now again, we can just define that a wee bit more. And by putting this graph up, it just tightens them boss up an awful lot. And then by hitting that, that takes away again. We can invert it, which it doesn't look great. I, I never in invert this because it's it, it just looks odd. It, it doesn't look, the emboss doesn't look natural when, when you invert it. I'll, I'll take that away and put it back. Linear, if we click at linear again, so many options. That's making it look a lot more chiseled. And then if we go into the profile, if we undo that, we can make more changes, tighten things up. We then go back here and we're going to, we can soften this a wee bit, change the elevation, it's a wee bit much, that's quite nice there, it's, it's, it's not making it as strong, that's, that's really nice, uh, I'll do two fingers a few times, just to keep it roughly in the defaults to see what we're looking at, I just hit the wee white arrows there, because there's a, that's the first menu of choices, it's the second and the third, Third's quite good because we've got our screen modes. As always, we can we can cycle through the screen modes. Some do more than others. You can click into it. I'm just going to bring it back to screen. We can change the color of the emboss. So at the minute, by default, it's white. If we, if we click into red, it's not doing too much because it's actually set to screen. If I change this to normal, we'll maybe see a bit more of a difference. So that's making the highlighted colors red. Maybe make them blue just to... Bit of a bit of an extreme example. We can change the opacity up to hundred percent, which this looks really awful. But just for example, we'll we'll bring it down, and by bringing it down to maybe oh, 30, 35 percent, that's quite nice because it's just highlighting it and it's giving off a wee bit of color. And seeing Sonic's blue, that's quite nice. It's it's not really the right color of blue. We'll change it to roughly Sonic's blue here, and maybe bring it up a wee bit more. And that's that's quite nice. I, I, I quite like the blend mode on this. Again, that's set to normal now. If we could change it, you'll maybe see more of a change. Just cycling through. We'll go back to normal for the sake of this tutorial because then we've got the blending mode for the darks. And again, just to make it a bit more extreme, we'll bring this up to normal. That's at 100%. And if we make this, just out of curiosity, if we make this this red colour, let's see what what happens here. So that's kind of cool. Uh, with Sonic being blue, with the with the red banner being red. And maybe bring this down a wee bit. And that's really, really nice. I wasn't expecting to like this as much as I have. That looks that's it's just it's just something different. Again it's it just all comes down to personal preference, what you like, I might not like and vice versa. But I'm quite liking the wee bit of red. Instead of just having it let's see, put it back to black put it back to white, which is grand, but it's just a wee bit more interesting for this project anyway, just to make this red and blue. And I quite like that. And again, if we go, if we use this hour to go back, that's a set in pillow mode. That's an inner, that's an outer. The emboss isn't bad on this. Maybe just play about with it and, and that's all I'm doing now it's just playing about to see what I like I'll actually go into the layer studio I'll check the original because although I like those wee colours I actually forgot that there is a gradient on the text and there is a drop shadow and that will make a big big difference if we turn the or we'll go back sorry we'll hide this layer we'll go back into this text for the layer effects studio before I turn these things on, that's how to use bevel and emboss in a nutshell. There's so many options. There's so many different looks. Again, I quite like this, but we're, we're trying to stay faithful, certainly in this project, to the original. So we will put on the gradient. We will put on the outer shadow. And straight away, although I liked it with a white, as soon as we put on this gradient and the drop shadow, 
it's not looking too good these colors we'll bring it back to the start just to show you the other options with with this and the pillow's quite nice now the inner's not bad we'll probably go with inner not outer not the emboss because it's affecting when we've got a drop shadow you don't really want to make it look as if it's embossed there's too many styles it, it just doesn't sit well in the eye so we'll make it inner at the minute we will go back here we'll make this white again and again straight away you can see it's doing something and for this I don't want too many colors I don't want to muck about too much because the original the original text looks as if there's a bit of a highlight there so that's what we're we're going to try to do we'll We'll maybe bring it up, we'll maybe bring it up 100% just to see how that looks, just because this gradient's quite strong. And that's looking nice, but I want to bring the, I want to make it look more, more embossy. If that's, I'll just set that to, I'll just reset that. That's making a wee bit more of a chisel look, which I don't know if I like or not. We'll keep it for the time being because I'm just going to change this radius now. That's far too much for me. We'll bring it in a wee bit. I'm probably going to soften these edges, but this is really, this is really looking cool. If I soften them by doing it this way, I'm happy with this. The elevation, I think I'm going to be happy with the way that's looking there. So we're going to go back into this profile and we're going to just soften those edges up just ever so slightly. We'll go back here, the radius. Again, I'm simply just playing around with it, trying to find something that I'm happy with. And because there is so many options, you could be playing about with it for a long time. Both blend modes, ground, all 100%. Invert, doesn't look great. Maybe if I, if I don't enable this, I think I like that. That softens up quite a bit, and I think that's getting closer to what I'm looking for. Again, I'm just resetting this. I'm just trying different different things. So I bring it down. That gives it like nearly as embossing it inwards slightly. And that's quite nice too. Although I don't think it's what I want. I think I want this. I think I'm liking it more soft. Yeah, I really could play about with this all day. I think I'm going to leave it like that. And bevel and boss, that's it off. That's it on. That's it off. That's it on. And currently I've, I've switched it off again. It looks grand, but with the drop shadow, with the gradient, by just making that bevel and boss, it just really brings that text up and alive. And I think that's really enhanced our project here. Very happy with how this is coming along. So there you have it. I'd really appreciate it if you enjoyed or learned something in this video, if you could give it a like. Please feel free to subscribe to this channel as I've got more videos coming out very soon. Leave a comment too if you wish as I read and reply to each and every one. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.